Hello, welcome to my Module 8, EDL 853. This is a case study called Get This Child Out of My Room, uh, and I'm Steve Wallace. So a quick summary of this uh, case study. There was a uh, child named Carl, third grade student, that was having aggressive behavioral issues towards his teacher. His teacher felt unsafe um, went and felt like her students could be un uh, threatened. So she went to the first year SPED teacher, said that Carl needed to get out of her class, that she didn't want to have to deal with Carl. Uh, first year SPED teacher said that she felt like maybe they could uh, find better options than completely removing from the class. This was not what had been done previously. Um, the ch child's parents had uh, recently been through a rough divorce and her, his siblings also had emotional behavior issues. <clears throat> and then lastly, this district was uh, a, a large co-op with limited resources. So that's kind of the, uh, the, the situation that we're in. So let's talk about uh, what we know. So here's what we know. Carl's a third grader, identified as uh, behavior disordered. He was self-abusive and had previously been on a reward consequence program. Uh, Carl's parents recently divorced. He has shown signs where he has become much more aggressive towards the teacher, Nancy Taylor, in the classroom. Nancy Taylor feels unsafe, feels that her students are unsafe, and uh, immediately went into Susan Green, who is the SPED teacher. At that, is she is a first-year SPED teacher straight out of college. Um, following a long-time, well-respected, well-liked SPED teacher. Miss Nancy Taylor said, I want Carl out of my classroom. That's how we've always done it, and that's how we should handle it this time. Miss um, Susan Green, this new SPED teacher, disagreed. She believed that there could be a inter new intervention program put in place so that Carl could stay in the classroom while um, keeping the classroom safe and not distracting other students. Uh, the district is a large cooperative with limited resources, funds, and that's what we know. What do we need to know? Uh, I would be interested to know if Carl's met with a counselor or psychologist, because many of these issues sounds like he might need to see some a professional. Uh, what other resources are available uh, in the district and the school? One big question I have with res along the lines of resources: is, is there a paraprofessional in the in the building, or could we hire a paraprofessional? to uh, be in the classroom with Carl. Uh, what resources are available to the family? What can we do as a school? What's out there in the community to help Carl's family? Because a lot of this stems from an unstable family life. Uh, what are the details of Carl's previous and current IEP? So what's worked, what hasn't worked, what's changed? Uh, what is Carl and Miss Taylor's relationship like? Um, is there a personality clash? Is there, uh, is there uh, something else there that maybe we can help with with Miss Taylor? Um, and going on, is Miss Taylor received the training to help her, her best serve Carl? So that's another thing uh, I wonder. Identify the problem. So there's many layers to this problem. I think the main focus and the main problem is Carl's developing aggressive behaviors towards his teacher, which we can't have in the classroom. It's not good, obviously, for the teacher, and it's not good for the other students in there. Uh, underlying factors include Carl's family issues. Um, other, uh, Furthermore, Miss Taylor's insistence on him being removed from the classroom and kind of sticking with the old ways of doing things as far as um, with SPED students. Um, another issue problem is that it's Miss Green's first year, straight out of college. It's her first major problem she's had to deal with. Um, and then finally, just a lack of manpower, resources, and funds. Now, all those are layers of the main problem, which is Carl's aggressive behavior towards his teacher. So plan for action. So the plan for action here is to make sure all students and sta uh, staff are safe and have the best learning environment possible. Uh, I would review the resources available uh, with the new intervention program as well as make sure the details of the plan are laid out. We don't really know many of the details 
We want to make sure we knew exactly if Carl needed to be removed from the classroom, how we were going to go about that. I really think having a paraprofessional would be very helpful, not only for, um, you know, Carl in academic ways, but also if he did need to be removed, there would be an adult there that could get him uh, where he needed to be. Uh, number three here, review the IEP, see if there are additional things that could be changed. One thing that really sticks out to me is I think it would be beneficial for Carl to either see the school psychologist or counselor regularly um, to, to help him out. Uh, review and suggest options for the family that could help the family as a whole. What's out in school? What's in our community that we can get the family to help the family through uh, what they're going through? Uh, number five, Training, uh, so I'd use a professional de development time to review and remind everybody what the laws, rules, and best practices are for working with SPED students. I would also specifically use some time on what to happen if there's aggressive behavior from a student in class. Here's the steps we would like to see happen if you do have a student in your classroom being aggressive. That way there's clear expectations and guidelines and everybody can be on the same page. Um, number six, I'd meet with the SPED teacher and talk to her because she's first year so I'd want to spend some time what worked what didn't work what would you do if you could do it over again what can we do moving forward if something similar comes up just to show her support and give her some guidance because I know being a first year uh, teacher is difficult uh, number seven provide some collaborative time between the SPED and general ed teachers this way they can work on some different strategies and some different things that might help uh, in the classroom and more importantly probably is just developing that relationship with the new SPED teacher because the previous one had been so well respected and so well liked. And then lastly we would want a communication plan with the family where each week they were hearing from one of us whether that's the general ed teacher, SPED teacher, or myself. Appropriate strategies for implementation. Uh, we would want to make sure we're following the line, laws and guidelines of changes to an IVP and along with that following the laws and guidelines of the IEP meeting. We would want to properly document all sequence of events. We'd want to properly document that we're going in the classroom and reviewing the intervention to see if it's working. Uh, properly document any issues that come up. Properly document Carl's behavior so that we have lots of documentations for moving forward with Carl. Uh, I would check in and meet with Nancy and Susan about the progress, see how they're feeling, make sure they felt supported, make sure they felt like we were doing everything we could to uh, help Carl as well as help them. Uh, I would go in the classroom myself and observe and see how the plan was working, how, uh, how the teacher and the student were getting along and all those types of things. And then last, I would make sure that I communicated with the parents um, on a fairly regular basis so that we're hopefully providing everything we can for them. So uh, category three, resolve issues based on promoting, promoting students, uh, success of all students. So uh, one thing I was impressed at was a first year SPED teacher looked at Carl's situation, looked at his needs, looked at his uh, the data and the IEP plan and decided, hey, p completely pulling him out of the classroom is not what is not what is best for Carl. We're going to do try an intervention, see if we can keep him in the classroom while also keeping other students safe and uh, not distracted. Um, I really felt like this promoted the success of Carl because it, um, it put him in the least restrictive educational environment and removing him would have been the easy thing to do. Next issue, Carl uh, made the teacher feel unsafe and the teacher thought uh, kids in the classroom safety could be at risk. This intervention plan was put in uh, very quickly. Uh, it was appropriate uh, where Carl is going to be removed from the class when needs to be and have a cool down period, um, which will keep everybody safe and hopefully a paraprofessional in there. And then the last issue was a lack of knowledge and collaboration between the SPED teacher and the general ed teacher. Um, so by putting in place uh, PD time to ensure that teachers know best practices, laws, those sorts of things, and have a collaboration time with the SPED teacher that hopefully the knowledge gap as well as the relationship grows. Category 5 is uh, looking at 
as we looked at this issue, how was I thinking, feeling, and what was I valuing, as well as what's unresolved. So when I read this case study, what was I thinking? My first thought was the kid's safety um, in the cl and the teacher's safety in the classroom needs to be number one. Also, are they being able to have an undistracted uh, educational setting? Number two uh, was Carl getting the help he needed. How could we help Carl because the little guy needed help? And number three, the resources at the school are very limited. You have a the, you have a teacher that's also the principal. I can't even imagine having enough time to do that. Um, I've been lucky to be at places where there's been plentiful resources. How was I feeling? I was concerned for Carl's Carl himself as well as the family issues that he was dealing with. Um, I was irritated about Nancy's handling the situation. I understand that uh, Carl was not easy to deal with. She felt threatened. I think. Um, that part of it, I understand the part with how she handled it with another adult in the building irritated me. Um, you can't always rely on the old ways. Plus you're trying to develop a relationship with a new teacher that could have been handled differently. And then I was empathetic towards Susan's situation. We've all been there. We've all been first year teachers. We know how tough that is. This was her first big problem to deal with. So, uh, I felt, uh, some empathy there. What was I valuing, valuing? The importance of working together to solve problems. If you can get everybody on the same page working towards the goal, uh, which in this instance was to help Carl, um, it's so much easier and it, in the long run it's going to work better for everybody involved. The importance of family, because obviously family was having an impact on Carl. And then the fact that uh, we, as a school district, we could help this student be successful, and that's why I really value education and what it brings for kids. What are some unresolved or open to further discussion? Uh, will Nancy implement the IEP plan with an open mind? Will she follow through? Will she just try to kick Carl out for every little thing, or will she use the IEP plan like it's supposed to be used? Will the plan work? I think anytime you try something, you're hoping that it will work, but you don't know if it's going to work for Carl. So that's uh, obviously unresolved. Will the family find the supports that they need? Um, because uh, it's going to help Carl if he can go home to a place that he feels safe and supported. And right now I'm not sure he does. Uh, will the staff begin to open up to Susan? For Susan to be a successful SPED teacher, she needs to have the cooperation and support of her colleagues. Category five, so this is a reflection piece of the case study. So component one, per, how did you promote the academic success of every student by enhancing instructional capacity? So I followed the laws and guidelines for SPED students which uh, was promoting the success of Carl. We did also did not completely remove Carl from the classroom. This put him in the least instructive, uh, least uh, restrictive educational setting. Uh, again, this was looking out for Carl's best uh, ac academic success. And we also had this plan in pl place to protect the teacher and students from unsafe or distracting behavior, which again was thinking about their academic success as well. Similar question, how did you promote the personal well-being of every student? So we uh, implemented this plan quickly. We put him in a least restrictive environment. Again, that for Carl, that's his well most uh, important well-being. Uh, we have a safety plan in place making sure everybody feels safe, including teachers and students. Uh, PD for staff with working with aggressive students so they know how to handle those situations. So again, the safe personal well-being of the teacher and other students in the classroom. Um, also with Carl, having that meeting with school psychologist or counselor, I think again is looking out for the personal well-being of uh, the student. And last, how did you enhance, as a school leader enhance instructional capacity? Tried to fix the issue as quickly as possible. We supported SPED as well as the general ed teacher. We wanted that general ed teacher to feel safe in their classroom and uh, feel like they were supported and that we were helping with Carl. We wanted that new SPED teacher to feel supported and that we were behind her in that new in intervention plan. Providing that PD 
which will help teachers in the long run and provide that collaboration, which will help relationships. Thanks for watching my presentation.